Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. Just over my camp. Had a little fire this morning. And I'm out in the Spring Mountain Wilderness. Beautiful Joshua trees out here. My dog, Yucca and Rio. And uh, had quite a past couple of days. I, I interviewed with a CBD company and uh looks like we're gonna we're gonna be starting on something um i may have gotten a brand ambassador uh product model uh spokesperson position um still waiting to finalize paperwork on said position but uh it's looking good um i got to get invited over yesterday to a friend who was staying in a, a nice hotel here in Vegas and uh, you know kind of realized I was being invited for you know I, I was able to take a shower and uh, had really nice breakfast I was really really grateful and thankful for all that but as I was there, I was realizing that, that someone was actually in a lot of pain and uh, was emotionally vulnerable and having, um, you know, a moment that we're all having moments. Sometimes it's not good. If you watch my channel, there are videos that I call low vibration, but they're, they're, they're necessary because... I don't want to show that I live like some perfect life or something or that I don't go through pain that I don't you know that I'm not like everybody else or that I've got some magic quotient of, of how you should live your life and that if you do all those things you'll you'll not encounter those situations but you know that the dark times in our life actually uh, bring out the light you know. The dark times in our life actually let us see the light, let us see what we should be doing. Uh, they, the darkness illuminate, without the darkness, the path wouldn't be illuminated. You know, it's like uh, this road out in the middle of the wilderness, if you can see it out there. There's all this dark wilderness, but if you stay on the road, it's a clear path through the wilderness. There's no obstacles. Uh, you don't encounter the same ruggedness or having to twist and turn like you do out here. You know, out here, you have to guide through the desert. But on that road, it's guided for you. It's been paved in front of you. So that's my metaphor for that. Um, I just want to say that, you know, when I do healings on people, I get very passionate about what I'm doing. I sometimes even yell or not yell, but raise my voice. And it's more like an, an, an what do they call those? Evangelistic. I know people don't like them, but, uh, you know, when you're going on to, to path, sometimes you need a preacher, and, um, you know, I've always been, been a preacher. Uh, I've, I've figured it out that, you know, my, my job has always been to guide people through the wilderness and to give them hope and show them that there's a path and it's easier uh, if they just follow it. You know, if you, if you follow your heart, if, if everyone followed their heart, we would have a lot less heartbreak in the world. Um, if everybody followed their, uh, path and didn't choose free will on certain things, we'd have a lot easier time working together. Um, however, that doesn't happen. So we have a lot of obstacles. We have a lot of things that we have to overcome. And, um, you know, I, I keep working on those things and just praying and having faith that, you know, eventually someday it's going to come. And that day might be sooner than you think, so you might want to be prepared. And, uh, yeah, so that that's really the message 
you know, is get prepared. Be easy on yourself too, you know. We're we're the hardest people on your on you is yourself. You know? Uh our self degradation, our our self criticism. Um we if we listen to those things, we end up having a, a self esteem issues. And then you don't want that because then you start, you know, trying to overcompensate when you get around people and you talk about yourself and you seem like a, a narcissist or something. Well, narcissists are truly the most insecure and damaged people there are. Um, you know, me as an empath, I attract a lot of narcissists. And and then, uh, you know, as I'm working on my intrinsic value and my self-worth and all those things, then I've had other people say, well, maybe you're a narcissist. So, and I, and I laugh because I'm, it's usually when I'm talking about self-value or what I believe that I'm worth or, you know, that I believe that I'm eventually going to be a television or movie star and um, believing in myself. It seems arrogant. You know, why would you want to do that? And that's the little voice in them talking about you. That has nothing to do with you. If people have shortcomings about you, it's not on you. It's on them. So I'm hoping that made sense today. I was doing a little bit of channeling. I've had a lot of channeled messages, and that is uh, we need to be who we are. And we need to not be afraid to show the world um, who we are. And not be afraid to expose our ideas and, you know, let people have them freely, but also create a boundary that allows yourself to benefit from said ideas. So, um, you know, that's really where my heart's at. Um, my guides gave me a divine message the other day. They said, you know, you asked for this, this dream, this wish, this goal, and if we gave you everything that you wanted, would you remember what you promised to do? Or would you forget and just go along? And I think that's what I've done in the past. You know, you, you manifest, you pray, you pray, you pray. You say, God, you know, if you did this for me, I'd do that for you. And so, you know, I've prayed for, you know, a lot of abundance for the world to to somehow manifest my my abilities into the, the limelight through film or or something or one of my talents uh, to be able to be catapulted into uh, abundance that is life altering, life changing, and that someone's going to see and they're going to reach out and they're going to be like, "Hey, I got this thing, and we're going to do it, and I want you to be the the the, the catalyst to it." And uh, here's your contract, and here's your money, and, you know, let's, let's do this thing. Well, what would you do then? You know, would you just forget about what you promised the universe? Or would you remember, and would you, uh, would you honor that? So the truth of the matter is, uh, my intrinsic value, I wrote, a, I wrote a check like Jim Carrey for $11 million. It's in my wallet. It's been there for about five years. Um, I have a feeling something very big is going to happen in my life and it hasn't yet, or it is, feels like it's building. And, um, my intrinsic value could be a lot more than that. It could be 110 million. And, uh, you know, people are like, how the hell are you going to make that much money? Or how, how are you going to do anything like that? Well, it's not all about me. See, I asked the universe for that so that I could help people. Uh, I'd like to be like a David Dobrik, you know. I run around and I see somebody who's having having issues, you know, paying for groceries or, you know, I, on the corner with a sign or, you know, wherever I see people and I run into people that are having issues or this one thing like, you know, undercover boss. If I could just get this one thing taken care of, then my life could go back to normal. Well, I plan on delivering miracles. I plan on, 
you know, the old adage, you can either catch a fish for a man and feed him for a day, or you can teach a man how to fish and feed him for a lifetime. Well, my goal is to feed humanity for a lifetime. If I can share one tidbit of information that helps someone get through the next day and leads them to a small miracle that leads to another miracle, that by the end of the month or the end of the year or the end of the week or the end of the cycle, you actually have manifested exactly what you wanted, but you got to remember what you promised. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. It's beautiful out here. It's a little cold. It's a light breeze. Uh, I want to get back by the fire.